Hi again, this is Lisa Orlandella talking to you about all the different technologies you can use in your presentation or your gallery walk. So to get started, this is Canva. It's similar to Google Slides, but a lot more powerful. So we talked about how you can present with the presenter view and you can use your cell phone. So that's one option for Canva. Going through quickly, um, Book Creator is another option. So you can click on um, this app here because I did share this, sorry, this icon here because I did share this with you. But you can also just go right into Clever. So once you log into Clever, you can search for Book Creator here. And it shows up right there. When you, um, when you sign in, or rather when you use this link, you'll be able to see this example book. And right off the bat, you can see, you know, there's a lot of movement, um, great use of color. It's, it's a pretty powerful digital book. The pages um, flip just like a textbook. Again, a lot of movement. This has a read for you button, also read up here. So you can discuss. Um, you can see here that um, text can be added as well as um, videos embedded. It's, it's pretty powerful stuff. So anyhow, that is Book Creator, and that's just another option that we have listed here. The next is uh, the Adobe Firefly via Creative Cloud. So it allows you to do text to image, generative fill, and text effects. So let's pop over and see if we can. Here we go. So firefly.adobe.com. It is through your, um, you, we do pay for Adobe. So if you sign in with your Google, that will work as well. So what you do here is you write whatever you want uh, the AI generator to create for you. And that's what happens. So let's see. Gosh. So it's thinking, it's taking the prompt that I gave it, and it is going to generate. Okay, so you can tell this is kind of a, a similar style. So you can come down here and you can change the structure of the image or the reference of this image. I know I, I've clicked this one before, but I don't know. It's kind of like one of my faves. So this is a style reference. You can look at a ton of them under the gallery. But just to show you an example, it will take those images again and redo them with that reference. Okay, so that's just one example of you can edit this image with generative fill. So we can um, say, put on some sunglasses maybe. So you can write in here, uh, neon sunglasses. Very cool. And it gives you other options with that too. So you can remove things. They want me to keep this to keep going. So you can remove things, you can expand the background of things, and you can also just pan around it. So, um, okay. So that is the generative fill of Adobe Firefly. All right, moving right along. So. If you want to make a QR code to be on the corner of your project, you can do that through Canva again, or you can also do it with Adobe Express um, QR code generator. Honestly, I type in Adobe QR code generator, and there you go. That's a pretty safe one.
and it brings you right back to where we were. There you go. So you can change the style somewhat, right? But it still needs to be red. So you can't go too crazy here. You can change the color, but you want to make sure that there's like a good contrast. And the file format doesn't really matter. You're just going to, to print it out or just embed it into your presentation. So the bigger thing here is, you know, what what are you going to put in here as a link? So I could go and put this entire presentation, right? I can come grab the link for my presentation. Right, copy that link, make it public view, copy it. And if I if I do stick that link right in here, then when someone scans, it will go straight to my presentation. You can also have a QR code go to a Google form, go to um, your Kahoot or your Quizlet. So a million options. It could go to your website that you created. So again, lots of options there. Okay, you can also create a video. So there, um, right here, again, this is shared with you. So if you use a screencast app on your Chromebook, you're able to have your face in the corner of the presentation and you can annotate on top of it um, on top of your presentation so you can write on it so you have that beautiful touch screen um, and you can talk through using a laser pointer you can talk through different sections of your presentation this is canva again but it's the comic strip version so if we go to canva and we write comic Rip. Here are a bunch of templates. If we want to customize this template, that's pretty easy to do. And we can put our, we can put a bunch of words in here. We can put an image in here. We can find some elements use this last time. Resize, move, flip. Um, yeah, so a bunch of options here. Um, we can come up and change the Color, we can change the font. Yeah, different options. Move that me out where it needs to go. Okay, so you can see how that works. You can change and add pages down here. We have other um, design designs up here that we can take from. So again, you can share it out similar to sharing it um, as a Google slide. Next, we have green screen by doing, and we do um, have an example. You would have to use an iPad for this one, but what's really neat to see is that she created this, um, obviously, and now she has put herself in front of a green screen, and she's actually inside of her creation. And I think even another um, person will show up in a minute sitting somewhere else. So this is just interesting because it allows you to still have a hands-on activity but that hands-on activity isn't just going to sit there. Here's, here's the boy. Isn't going to just sit there and collect dust because now you've created um, something that that will live on. Okay. We also have a 3D printer that you can use. Uh, the first step of 3D printing is de designing uh, what you would want to print. So this is the learning center for Tinkercad. And if you go through these options, it will show you like how to um, reset all tutorials. It'll just show you how to um, begin to create in a, on a 3D space, right? On your work plane, you could bring over a box, Q 
cube rather. You can resize it. Um, you can add elements on top of it if you wanted to. And then you can kind of check out how that works. If you wanted to cut a hole in something, these are holes. Pull that over, sink that down. But you could work through these um, tutorials over in this corner and it will show you um, exactly how to work through it so you get a really a better idea of how to use this CAD program. Once you create in Tinkercad, then um, we will help you slice it and uh, print on your Ultimaker, on our Ultimaker 3D printer. So that's about it as far as um, the options that we presented to you the other day. So feel free to stop by if you have any questions and we're happy to help you. Thanks.